they were imagine simulating the entire universe like it was a giant video game. What would that actually take in energy and computing power? First, a quick term, a flop, short floating point operation is just a single tiny math calculation by a computer. Modern supercomputers can do about 10 to the power of 18 flops a second. That's a quintillion, a billion billion little sums, which sounds huge until you start scaling up. Now here's the kicker. Scientist Andrew White calculated that simulating just one human cell, about 10 to the power of 14 atoms, for a single day would need around 2 times 10 to the power of 38 flops. That's already more computing than Earth currently produces. Energy-wise, about 200 terawatts, roughly 20 times the entire power output of all human civilization, just for one cell. To scale that up to the whole universe, you hit about 10 to the power of 104 flops. That's one with 104 zeros, a number so absurd it basically breaks our intuition. And the energy you'd need, about 2 times 10 to the power of 70 terawatts, which is more power than the entire universe even contains. So what are the implications of this? At first glance, it seems like we have three basic choices. One, the universe isn't a simulation at all. Two, if it is, it can only be run by something outside it. Or three, it's run by something we might as well call God. Something that can bend or ignore physics and maths altogether, which I suppose if you're God, then why not? But here's where it gets weird. Those aren't the only options. What if not every atom is being simulated? Maybe only what we look at gets rendered, like a video game that doesn't draw distant mountains until you walk towards them. Or maybe the simulation doesn't run on physics as we know it. Maybe there's some other substrate, some alien form of computation where these limits don't apply. Or maybe the whole simulation is the same thing as reality itself, a kind of self-simulation where existence and calculation are indistinguishable. And then there's the big one. Maybe our own physics is incomplete. And what we think of as a hard ceiling turns out to be just a local rule. From inside the system, we'll probably never know. Whether or not it's any of those things, it would all look the same to us. So, are we living in a simulation? If we are, the answers are stranger than the question. Tell me what you think in the comments.